came and did a different one. David, you had the same. Uh, as actors, that's your job. But what about perception of the public? Did you find that a challenge to kind of overcome the way that people see you? Um, I don't feel compelled to insist to people that I'm not really a serial killer anymore. <laughs> that I'm not really a funeral director, you know, but, but, but yeah, I mean, I guess the way people will approach now is a little different than it once was, you know, a little more like, uh, you know, keep on doing what you're doing, that kind of thing. <laughs> before, it was more like, oh God, you really got to make a change. I don't know, people, people worried about the, the character on Six Feet Under being walked on and taken advantage of a lot more than they worried about fact that Dexter continues to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Is there another question? Um, yes, I have a question for Linda. I'm very interested in the balance of comedy and drama in Nurse Jackie because it seems, although all of these shows have those elements, this one in particular moves from very serious moments to almost slapstick at points with um, uh, Merritt Weaver's character. I was just wondering if you could talk about that. Yeah, when, uh, when, we when we started to do the show, and especially with someone like Edie, you know, who brings such great gravity to, to a role and such the barometer of the truth, that we, in a hospital, New York hospital, we wanted to do gallows humor, you know? I mean, what really happens in life, somebody dies, and then somebody better crack a joke. You know, we learned this with our nurses, too, that there's a lot of humor in these hospitals that just helps them as humans deal with their with their job every day, so we um, we love having these really serious moments. If somebody just died, and then Zoe comes in and says something completely inappropriate, it just I, I think that's really how life is, and it helps people cope, especially the nurses that they tell us that that's how they really deal with with work. And, and that's where the tap number came in last year. We were told by one of our nurses that. They took the EKG leads and put them on the bottom of their shoes one night at Roosevelt Hospital and just tap dance all night. And I'm like, oh man, that's going in the show, you know. So, um, yeah, I think it's, the humor is really important to help, you know, cut the heaviness of the drama that these people deal with every day. Oh, I just brought the whole room down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Victoria, do you find source material too in, in uh, about drug dealers and also now marijuana? <laughs> um, I, saw, I said, Victoria, uh, with everything that's going on in California with marijuana laws, and do you find source material in that? And do you also, with drug dealers and drug arrest, is that something you find yourself watching for material? Yes, absolutely. Every time like a grow house is busted, or a grove warehouse. I always want to know how it got busted, you know, who was a jogger or jogging by and smelled something. That's fascinating to me. Any kind of drug smuggling. <laughs> in the house, anything. Anybody in the audience, feel yes. free to step up to the yes. microphone. Is there another question? Hi. I've been fans of a bunch of years for a while, and I want to know which was your favorite roles for anybody that'll answer. Well, in junior high, I say. <laughs> I got laughs in the diary of Anne Frank that nobody should get. <laughs> I think that's like asking to pick a favorite child in a way. Can we say that? No, you, you guys aren't gonna back me up. I'm trying to get out of it. <laughs> Feel about your children? Is that what you're saying? Is it what yeah, I can't hear what you're saying. But I agree. <laughs> Hello, do you have a question? Uh, yeah, how's it going? Um, for Michael, I noticed in your recent role in Gamer, you played uh, more of the villain character, and I was just wondering if you liked preferring more of the villain, complete evil, or going for the anti-hero, more good? <laughs> um, I mean, you know, all of it. I, 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 I love that, you know, Dexter turns things on its head and invites you to root for the person who is usually the ultimate villain in a film, a serial killer. Um, it's also fun to, you know, play uh, megalomaniacal 
whack job straight up. It's nice to play uh, good people, normal people, to whom crazy things are happening, as opposed to people who are uniquely afflicted, you know. Um, but uh, I don't know if I have a preference. I just love to be able to keep mixing it up. Um, my question is for uh, Victoria. Um, I'm curious because you were just asked about the source of your material. Does any of your source material come from the, the border of our country between Mexico, like just being the lives down there? Because I was actually born and raised in El Paso, Texas, and a lot of your material actually does seem pretty realistic. Is that a source? Yeah, actually before the beginning of last season, all the writers, we took a trip and rode with the Border Patrol um, up and down around the Tijuana this kind of no man's land between California, San Diego, I guess, this county, and Mexico that only the Border Patrol is allowed in, and just saw a lot of grisly, weird stuff. So, yeah. Questions oh, for Michael. Um, the first three seasons of Dexter kind of ended with a conclusion. Were you completely surprised for the fourth season, or were you kind of expecting to go out of the norm? Sorry, I didn't. Did anyone totally? I couldn't understand that whole question. Were you completely shocked by the uh, twist uh, that you left? Um, I was. I was. Um, I was shocked. I mean, I had some warning. You know, um, I, I knew things were headed in that direction. Uh, I was glad that we were able to keep it quiet enough that it managed to shock people who were watching it. You know, I thought that was uh, remarkable in a way uh, that we were able to keep that quiet. But. Um, as an actor, I was excited. I, I was really sad um, to see Julie go as a you know person who I worked with. Before. <laughs> Not that she didn't go on to other things. I think she's here uh, promoting a new show at Comic Con, which is pretty cool. But uh, Julie Benz. <laughs> um, but. But, but for the character, I was really excited because there was almost like a new origin story. Uh, one where now Dexter had blood on his hands and uh, the whole structure that he built for himself had been taken away. So, uh, you know, just in the same way you talked about burning down a town. Um, Dexter's not, the town isn't burned down, but the, 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 the fundamental sort of thing that he held on to to appear normal and to actually experience himself as normal is for the most part gone. So. Mary Louise Parker, what's your favorite nude scene that you've ever shot? <laughs> Gosh, there are so many. <laughs> yeah, that's horrifying. There are so many. I don't know, do you have a favorite? <laughs> So you all must be big fans of your own show, so I'm curious, this is a question for all of you, if either of you had to either produce or write or star in one of someone else's shows, who would want to